Hi there, welcome to Collaboration Simplified. My name is Shervin Shafi and I work at Microsoft as a co-pilot principal technical specialist. Now on this channel, we often build our own autonomous agents, but today I'm very excited to share an agent that Microsoft has built and that is the interpreter agent. So I, I just... <laughs> No, it works. It works very well. It works very, very well. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Now, this agent is for your Microsoft Teams meetings and basically does speech to speech translations for your multilingual Teams meetings. Now, everyone can speak in their language of choice. It doesn't have to necessarily be English all the time. Simulate your voice. It's unbelievable. Yes, incredible. I listen, I listen to Jerome. To Jerome. I, know I know that Jerome, Jerome is speaking in French. French. I, I hear, hear him, him in Spanish, Spanish and, and I listen to Sherman in, in Spanish too. And, and it's, it's that, that he uses your voice, your, your tone of voice. voice. It's, it's like, like you're, you're really speaking, speaking in Spanish. Spanish. It's now, incredible. Danny, so Danny, you, uh, I think you selected, you selected a female a woman's woman voice, voice, right? Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a female voice. So. You just go to the settings yes. and just have it use your own voice. Absolutely. I'm actually quite excited about this feature. Even though it's in public preview, I get to experiment with it and share it with you. I speak to you in French and in fact it's funny because I hear, I hear your voice, Shervin. I hear your voice but it really uses your intonation, your voice. I first heard about this feature back in 2024 when it was in development. And I actually couldn't believe that something like this existed because it reminded me of the United Nations meetings that I used to watch where there was an interpreter and this was a human interpreter, but now that's being replaced with AI doing all that hard work. And so it's a lot more cost effective and easy to use. Today, this feature comes with your Microsoft 365 Copilot license, but when it becomes generally available, stay tuned for any licensing changes that may present itself at that time. But for now, enjoy it with that license and we're gonna do a demo and experiment with it. This feature is available in nine different languages. Let me see if I can remember them all. So that would be English, French, Spanish, Italian, German, Portuguese, Mandarin Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. So those are the nine languages and I'm hopeful that we'll extend beyond those in the future. Now, I mentioned this is available as part of our public preview program. So for those of you who are not familiar with that program, let's take a look and see what that actually means. Okay, so this is our Microsoft Teams public preview page and I'll drop the link in the description. But basically, first off, it says note, features included in preview might not be complete and could undergo changes before becoming available in the public release. Public preview for Microsoft Teams provides early access to unreleased features in Teams. Preview allows you to explore and test upcoming features. So basically, we're giving you early access, which is awesome. Now, I would say share this document with your admin because they have to set the update policy so that you can actually enjoy these public preview features. So there's something that the admin needs to do. Further down below, as an end user, you have to take some steps inside Microsoft Teams, which are outlined here, to be able to take advantage of these public preview features. So inside the new Teams client, you go to settings and you click on the three dots next to your user profile, select settings and about Teams, and then under early access, you select the public preview checkbox. So make sure you do that and then you should have access to this feature. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for these features to get rolled up because I just got news that it was in public preview this week, so it might take a little bit of time. Now, I do also wanna mention that we've actually had live caption translations available with our Teams Premium in 31 languages for quite some time now, maybe a year or more. And if you check out this site and if you scroll down to the bottom, it lists all the different languages. I think there's 31 of them that we translate to. So this is more like a closed captioning, but what I'm talking about now is speech. Now let's do a quick demo. And please, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to give it a like as it really does help the channel. Thank you very much for your support. Setting up the interpreter agent is super simple. In a Teams meeting, select more, and then go down to language and speech and just simply select turn on the interpreter. Now here it remembers your last settings, but you can always select settings and 
Look at all the different languages, nine of them that we shared earlier. And you can balance the volume between the original audio or more interpretation audio. So if you want to hear it more or less, it's up to you. And I like to simulate my voice, but you can also test out the other automated voices. So here's one of them. Hey there, I hope you're having a great day so far. Now let's listen to the second voice. Hey there, I hope you're having a great day so far. And finally, here's the third one. Hey there, I hope you are having a great day so far. Now what we can do is I'm going to select German and you can hear what you sound like in German in one of the automated voices. How does it sound when you translate my voice to German? Wie klingt das, wenn du meine Stimme ins Deutsche übersetzt? Hast. You can also select settings on the top left hand side and access the interpreter settings there. And now here I'm going to select simulate my voice. How about now using my own voice in German? Ab sofort mit meiner eigenen Stimme auf Deutsch. And I can also go to settings and maybe select a different language like Chinese. What about now? I'm curious what I sound like in Chinese. 现在呢,我很好奇我用中文听起来是什么样子的. So that's all there is to it. Super easy to use. You can just turn it off if you wanted to. Now let me show you what it sounds like in an actual Teams meeting. It's actually part of Copilot Studio, but it's embedded inside the M365 Copilot Suite. And once you start moving past its capabilities, like the basic retrieval augmentation, then you go into Copilot Studio and you can do things like autonomous agents or custom engine agents. And that's what's trying to, you know, that's what's shown in this diagram here. C'est en fait une partie du studio Copilot, mais c'est intégré dans la suite M365 Copilot. Et une fois que vous commencez à dépasser ses capacités, comme l'augmentation de la récupération de base, alors vous allez dans le studio Copilot et vous pouvez faire des choses comme des agents autonomes ou des agents de moteur personnalisés. Et c'est ce que j'essaie, vous savez. C'est ce qui est montré dans ce diagramme ici. Yes, it is. In fact, it is topic number one. When it comes to introducing new technology, especially artificial intelligence and agents, and what we always say is that everything we do at Microsoft goes with what? We call artificial intelligence responsibilities applied by Microsoft, but also but we also offer tools of what we call control and governance. For those who have access to agents of those agents, who have control. To monitor the impact of those agents. Who can use the agents? I mean, we have a suite of tools that really help. Jerome, your voice that was being translated to English for me, it sounded more like your voice. And yeah. Danny's voice didn't sound as much to me as, you know, no. your original voice, you know, your... Okay. Yeah. Your, yours was sounding like French Quebecois. Mine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> a, li a, li a little bit. A little bit. All right. All right. It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. Share your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.